This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by Blockchain.com um, 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 um. I do believe that this is a, uh, a right of free speech. I think that case law would back me up on this. Maybe it will. I'll call the police and we'll find out. Some video tape before. Yeah, I have nothing to say about the system because I don't think that people typically will ever get um, any justice out of the system. And so I think that a lot of people up here, if not all of us, um, encourage us, uh, encourage finding different ways to get justice. And maybe for you, that doesn't mean that you know you ever you know are made whole in your situation, but you can go out and expose what they're doing, uh, support other people who are exposing what they're doing, embarrassing for their embarrassing them for their tactics. And in a roundabout way, that's your way of finding justice. Yeah, every single time we've spoken out about an incident like the Chalk the Police or Mississippi, and every time we're highlighting these cases that happen against us, other people come out of the woodwork. Like five years ago, that same officer did this to me, or this new officer in this area is doing that, and like I spoke out because you spoke out, and so. You know, you, if you share your story, even just on a Facebook post, you never know if another one of your friends would say, that happened to me and this happened to me, and you can start building like a timeline or be more effective in the future of, you know, oh, well, that happened to me, camera, or, you know, something like that. You know, I'd get, I'd get I'd honestly, even because I'm not worried about changing the system, but I, I will submit a request just to get the contradiction to lies and be able to highlight that, you know what I mean, or show it, so... Yeah, there's definitely value in that. Like, if they, even if you file a freedom of information request, which would probably be what you would have to do, uh, they deny it maybe for some reason, but you could show the lack of accountability even within their own rules of not wanting to share the, the transparent information. You know, Even though they filmed you, they're not going to give you the video. I think part of eroding the police state is convincing people that the police state doesn't give a damn about you and there's no way to get justice through it. And so why even support the system at all? I don't want to, I don't want to reduce the police state to a uh, you know, comfortable level. I want to get rid of it because at no point is it going to ever serve us. And primarily, that's why I advocate at like a cop lock to say, you know, I don't. People's like, how do you get police accountability? How do you get police accountability? And I'm like, well, you don't. Not in this system ever at all. Not once will you ever have, you know, a true accountability. And it won't be until the market allows us to have, you know, the government no more, no longer having a monopoly on protection. And so, like, once you can tell the, you know. New Hampshire State Police that I'm going to fund your competitor and not you, you really won't get any accountability. You know, it's just like any other business that I'm sure operates under, you know, market signals, but the police don't do that. Yeah, and, and again, 